What's up, y'all? It's Marlo, man. What's going on? Hey, I'm on my way to work. And I just paused one of uh, Fred live streams from last night. I always watch the playback because Fred be up late as hell, bro. I, I, I be knocked out during that time. So I watch the playback, but I'm on my way to work, bro. And uh, I'm talking about traffic so heavy. I, I'm up. I'll probably be a few minutes late, but it's all it's all good. But uh I'm gonna talk about um Earl Spence and Sean Porter, bro. I've been thinking about this topic. I was supposed to uh then make a video about it, but ain't no rush on it. Um but look, check me out, bro. I feel like Earl Spence uh, it ain't that. I feel like I know a bunch of y'all feel like it too, but Earl Spence is beating Sean Porter mentally right now, bro, before they even get in the ring. Like, I'm gonna let y'all in on it, man. Like, when Earl was saying, Earl is smarter than a lot of people think. People think Earl just know how to fight and he just. You feel me? And he just cool, calm, and collected. He all that, but at the same time, he's smarter than what you think. I mean, Earl Spence is beating Sean Porter mentally right now before they even get in the ring. Excuse me. But, listen, though. Earl Spence, man, it, when he first said that Sean Porter can't set out a family dinner when he was done with beating uh Mikey Garcia, he said that before that too, but when he said that Sean Porter can't sell out a family dinner, bro, that was an implant. It was an implant, you know what I'm saying? It was a it was an implant inside of Sean Porter's head. And he, he told Sean that to get under Sean's skin because he knew he was fighting Sean next. So that's one thing. Yeah, I know I like to state I like to state my 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 reasons for why I'm right, you know what I'm saying? I like to state the facts to lead up to my, you know what I'm saying, my thing that I'm trying to say. So, not only did Earl tell us, I'm gonna keep going straight, fuck it. I ain't getting on the highway, that shit too packed. But look, then Sean, I mean then Earl, uh Told, kept telling Sean he dirty, he dirty, he dirty. But let me tell you the 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 reason I know that Earl got under Sean's skin when he said that he can't sell out a family dinner. This is how you know that Earl was under his skin. Sean Porter after that press conference, Sean Porter and Kenny Porter was doing interviews, basically saying naming the people that they gonna be responsible for bringing. They were naming the people they were responsible, they, that they feel like they responsible for bringing from their city who was going to come to the fight. Then they also did more interviews, not at the at press conference, but later on, weeks after, stating the same thing, saying they were bringing LeBron James, this, this, and that. That was a rebuttal. <laughs> or, or Earl said, I can set out a family dinner. You feel me? That's what type of shit that was. That was a rebuttal. So then, Sean, Earl kept telling Sean, you dirty. You're a dirty fighter. You know, I'm going to outdog you. I'm, I'm this, this, and this, and that. That guy under Sean's skin also, bro. Sean starts saying, starts saying, uh, I'm going to cut you. I'm going to cut you. Saying this and this and that. You know what I'm saying? That was his so-called rebuttal for that. For him calling him a dirty fighter. He was so mad and he's so jealous of Earl, he came with that. So so what I'm saying is, bro, like Earl is beating, is he breaking him down mentally. He breaking Sean down, man. I know y'all ain't never seen too many people get broke down mentally. Floyd used to do this. He did it to Shane. He did it to plenty of people in them face to faces that he used to do. He used to break them down mentally, talk about all this shit. Earl just doing the same thing, but in a much more clever way. He ain't he ain't being boisterous about it. 
And then, uh, so yeah, man, it, it, it's it's tad bit other shit that Earl says to shine, man. Like Earl is saying shit to shine to get under his skin, man. It's making shine want to prove himself. And then not only that, what Earl saying to shine, Earl spends confidence is is making shine feel some kind of way. Let me tell y'all something, bro. When you got confidence, when you got a lot of confidence, when you got so much confidence that it show when people watch you or look at you, it show, your confidence show. If they not a confident person, a confident person also, then it makes them feel some type of way. I mean, that's a life. That's part of life. That's a life fact. You feel me? But it's so many. He getting beat. He getting broke down mentally right now. Before the actual beat down, you feel me? And, 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 and I applaud Earl Spence for even be, knowing how to do this shit. And, I, and I'm and i really curious on how he going to do that to future fighters. But I, I love the way he breaking the shine down right now. And you know what I'm saying? Kenny Porter said that uh, Earl couldn't talk as good as shine, man. We found out that's a big lie, bro. Shine is not a trash talker. Shine a fighter. You feel me? Earl not trash talking. He, he it, it, it's, it's like it's confidence and it's like it's a couple things mixed all in a one. It's confidence. You know he got the skills. Man, man, it's 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 a lot of shit, bro. I just wanted to break that down for y'all, man. I don't want to make the video too long. I hate making long videos, but that's that, y'all. I'm out. And I'll be back. I want to talk to y'all about. I want to talk to y'all about how. Uh, I want to elaborate more on why Sean Porter is jealous of Earl Spence. So, uh, shout out to Contender Regime. I seen him uh, do a video on this yesterday. So I'm gonna find a clever, different way to do it. Cause I don't, you know what I'm saying? Cause I don't, I, don't, I had watched his video and he. Uh, I mentioned him because he he inspiring my next video and that's why I do. But that's that, y'all. I'm out.